All right, Penske, I'm calling you out. Every one of these trucks should be banned from towing. Because who modified, who made this fabrication? Who tested to make sure that this is actually gonna hold a 4,000 pound, a 4,000 pound trailer towing a vehicle, maybe 6,000 pounds. When the hitch fails, is this metal enough to prevent it from having the safety chains, the hook break the metal? One. Two. Who makes it? Three. This all should be banned because who verified it? Who tested? Underwrite bar issues. I mean, do you see the problem, folks? No reflective tape, so you can't tell how deep it is on the metal bar. Who designed this? Where did the metal come from? Who fabricated it? You see the rust? Especially this one here. Rust does make metal weaker. Rust does make welds weaker. But yet, no one wants to fix the problem. But Penske knows how to make my websites go away. Well, U-Haul also, not just Penske. They just want to make money because they have very little corporate oversight on these vehicles being used by people who are renting trucks who never told in their life. How say you? Right? So here, see? Attach log safety cable hook here. Okay, what happened here? Why is it bent? Because the metal is a piece of shit. That's why. See how it's bent? So this should be removed from service because it's already weak. See? There you go. To avoid serious injury or property damage, do not exceed weight specified below. All right, so who tears, who verifies? So is this metal gonna withhold a 7,000 pound trailer without breaking? I have evidence that it did. Penske. How do people know what is 7,000 pounds? Good question, right? DangerousTrailers.org, exposing corporate greed and corporate suppression.